do a video to show you how to convert the electrical components. So this is part two of our facelift conversion on a Range Rover L322 and we're converting from 2006 front end to the 2010 on front end. Um, so I've shown how to strip down your front and we put a little link to that up there. The next video I'm going to do is to show you the electrical components you need to change, so the wiring looms, what changes you need to make there. And then we'll do another video after this which will be part three which will be how to refit the new panels and what changes you need to do. Okay so what have we got on the front end? We've got the headlights so we'll show you how to change all the bits in the headlight. You've got the parking sensors down here somewhere. Um, fog lights, we'll cover the fog lights. Horns, we got horns. Have I missed anything here? That's it, I reckon, isn't it? So let's should we start. Let's, the changes, yeah. That's the only we changes. So we'll start with the easy one, the horns. So we've got it all ready. Now the one thing you'll notice, and we'll cover this in the next video, but when you fit this front bumper support panel, the horn is a little bit close. You can't get the connector on the top here. So what you've got to do is loosen one of the nuts on the horns so that you can get that connector on there because you can rotate the, you can see me there. So that's easy, no stress, right. Fog lights, that's even easier. The, the fog light bulbs in the, in the 2010 on are exactly the same, thank you, um, are exactly the same as these. So you can literally just take those out and those bulbs will fit in your new fog light so you could disconnect it here, push those in and remove that. And then you can just plug your new fog lights in, the wires are the right length, that's easy. Right, next one, parking sensors. This gives you a headache. So one thing I will say is before you do any wiring changes on your upgrade, check everything works. Check all your headlights work, indicators work, parking sensors work, because otherwise you'll be thinking it's a problem with your wiring conversion when actually it never worked in the first place. But so how we, do you check your parking sensors, Simon? Ah, uh, do the video we just did, because we, <laughs> we thought we'd better check it all works, yeah, and we'll put the link up there. Right. So let's come, so let's have a look at the bumpers we're gonna. So this is our old the black bumper there is our 2006 front bumper, and we're gonna change to this grey bumper, which is a 2012 exterior design pack front bumper. Right, parking sensor holes are obviously in each bumper. Um, you can see on the earlier bumpers they've got a bit of a sort of surround around them. When you pop the parking sensors out of the old one, they sit in the front, you can see they're the right size, they fit in there. If only these would be the right size for this new bumper, but you can see they're considerably too big. These are the new parking sensors, and you can see that the front edge on those is much smaller on the newer one. And you can see that they're going from the back, but you can see that front size fits nice and flush. So we need to get to these. now. If only, if only we could plug, this is the connector that goes in the back of this one that we've got on our car at the moment, but that ain't gonna plug in there for love or money. So we need to get some of these new type parking sensor connectors, okay? They're both three pin, and this will enable us to go on there like so. Right, so that's why we need to do it and what we need to do. Now if we go over to the car, and have a little look. So what Ian's done already is we've done three of the parking sensors. Let me pick where are we at? Right there. Okay. So what we've done is you can see where Ian's cut the old loom off and join the new one on. Now luckily for us, if we look at the loom on the one we haven't done, so this is one we haven't cut off yet. Okay, we can unplug this, no stress there. Give these a little squeeze. All right, I really need to unplug it, I suppose. But if we look on this connector. It's on the back by the wires on that it, one. That's right, now Ian's colored these in for us. So you can see there's three, two, one there. Hopefully you can see that, does that come out right in the video? Blurry, it's a bit blurry, but it goes three, two, one. Okay, now on the new connectors that you get, if you get them and have a little look. Uh, you can't see at you can't all on see. Either, but it goes three, two, one. As you look at it that way, yeah, you can 
but you'll see if you've got a supersonic vision you'll see it's actually the numbers are cut so what you need to do before you cut the wires off take a photograph or something with your phone going to have lost it again it's on there and make sure you've got there it, it looks like brown the brown one is always going to be number three I think. what i did is i cut these and then if you just take number one on there yeah on your new one yeah if you don't if you keep your old sensor okay closed, attached and just do it and you can on. just see which color wire you've got yeah so i just cut it cut it off and just did Okay. I knew green was number one. One, yeah. Found number you, one. I see, yeah. On the yeah. New you, one. you could reference the. Soldered that. Oh, I get it. You cut it there, then yeah. Then found number two, which on the new ones, nicely in the middle. Yeah. And then number three is just whichever one's left at that point. So Ian's done a neat job, and you'll see what he's done. He's used a bit of heat shrink. So he's cut it. We've used solder. We've soldered that. And then we put a little bit of a heat shrink over. We'll probably take these up, um, and then it'll be like a factory finish. So the easiest way we found of converting the parking sensors is to literally cut your old thing off and cut your old connector off, put the new one in, and then you're ready to go. So any questions on that, ask us at the bottom, but that's the parking sense stuff. Right, now next is the elephant in the room, so to speak, and it's the headlight. This is the 06 headlight, it's all one unit. This is the 2010 on, we got some LEDs, we got all sorts of stuff going on there. Now we've worked out the wiring, we think, it's only a guide, um, and what, you can do it two ways. There are some of most of the wires just go straight through, um, but some of them you're going to have to cut and move. We'll show you that in just a minute. But another solution we're working on is that when you take your old, actually, should we have a look? Have you got it in this one, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, that one's not got the converter on. It's not got the converter. Got the converter, converter, converter on. on. Okay. What we're working on is a little loom. Okay, and let me show you this. And I'll try and get these made. What we've, what we've got here is a little loom that does all the crossing over for you. So, so it's a little loom that has got the male pins there and the female pins in there. You put it in there and put it in there and all the wires do all the right interconnections. And we've actually got two wires that we've bought out here which are actually a spare earth and main beam signal which we might use for linking up to some auxiliary lighting. Um, so we'll we'll try and make these looms. You'll need one for each side, but for those of you that don't want to spend money on looms and are good with soldering irons and cutters, we've actually worked out the wiring here. So we'll we'll publish a link in the comments field below. I don't think I can do it in the actual. I'll try to, but YouTube get funny sometimes. But email us or ask us if you want the link to this. We'll put it up we on the website on our links on the website. No, we'll, we'll put it up somewhere. Okay. Um, we'll work it out. Um, what we've done is here, we've written the wire colour for the 2006 car connector down this side. And the pins are numbered. If you look in the body of the connector, you can see little numbers, one. It's, they're like at the end of each, start and end of each row. So you've got one to 16. So this is the colour, and this is what function we believe they do. Okay, so here's the pin number on the connector. And, for example, pin one you need to make that go straight across to pin one but pin two you've got to cut the wire there that's currently going into pin two and make it go to pin four and also you've got to split it and make it go to pin 16 three we've got no function four we've got no function three is straight three is oh, sorry straight there is a little green line there three is straight four is, four you cut i've got the x five you cut six you need five to five is what we're using for your um Oh, that's right take two. off take six you've got to spin over to number two so you've got to take it out from number six and convert it to number two seven we didn't have a pin in that eight we cut and nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen go straight through and sixteen was the spare um, yeah. negative we've used for for that auxiliary feed we we're talking about so there's not too many wires to cut now a couple of things I've put loads of disclaimers at the bottom here but this is for UK wiring um, it might be different in the US if you've got what they call an NAS spec North American spec because you'll probably have an extra wire for the additional side marker lights on the side but if, if anyone finds any differences, we can update or change this, not a problem. Um, also, the AFS. The only thing we don't get to work is the AFS. We just have a look what that manifests itself as. 
So the only error message we've got with the conversion is this AFS light, which is this funny little symbol. Let's let's go in a bit closer there, see if we can see that. That's that funny little symbol. And the AFS is the that makes the light sort of turn sideways as you're turning a corner. It sort of gives it a bit of that sort of steers with the steering a little bit. Um, we can live without the AFS function working. I'm not sure if anyone has got that working. Again, you might want to check the forums or if you know how to get the AFS working, let us know and we'll share it with everybody. Um, but that's the only thing we haven't got working. We haven't had to uh, add resistors for the indicators. They seem to work. Um, any updates we will put in the, in the link on that wiring diagram. So this video might be slightly out of date if we get any updates, but I'll put the updates in the published wiring diagram. Sorry it's been a bit talky today, but I hope that helps you with your conversion. And we'll get on and do the, uh, the mechanical conversion, how to bolt all the, the bumpers and everything on.